In this video, we will show you the clinical use of oxygen therapy. The clinical use of O2 therapy is available for the Evita XL, Evita V300, and Evita V500. Draga Evita ventilators are designed to accompany patients along the respiratory pathway and deliver high-level therapy and decision-making support. High-flow oxygen therapy is becoming increasingly useful in the clinical environment for both preventing intubation and recovery post-extubation. High-flow oxygen therapy is typically used in spontaneously breathing patients who require oxygen at higher flow rates. Specific high-flow interfaces are required for this. With the Draga Evita ventilators, flow rates of up to 50 liters per minute and accurate oxygen concentration from 21% to 100% can be achieved. Delivering O2 therapy via one single device provides a number of benefits to the clinical staff. Training and education only has to be done on one device. Nurses are able to spend their time with the patient, not looking for additional devices to bring to the bedside. From an infection control perspective, using the same device and same circuit reduces the risk of cross-contamination. Some cost benefits may be found due to the use of the same circuit and not having to buy an additional O2 therapy device, which would also require service and maintenance. The delivery of the required FiO2 can be accurately selected via the device rotary knob. For the patient, there is less anxiety as they remain on the same ventilator for the duration of their treatment. Oxygen therapy delivered by independent high-flow devices is often noisy. Delivering high flows through the ventilator is quieter. The patient has the benefit of the nurse not having to leave the bedside to go and find additional equipment. And if the patient does need to go back to non-invasive ventilation, the transition is seamless. It is normally recommended to use a heated, humidified breathing circuit when delivering high-flow oxygen therapy. To prepare the device for O2 therapy, it should be in standby mode. After disconnecting the inspiratory limb from the Y-piece, connect the selected high-flow interface. When using a coaxial or heated breathing circuit, the expiratory limb must be disconnected from the device and only the inspiratory limb needs to be used. Different patient interfaces are available such as nasal cannulae, oxygen masks, and tracheostomy. To start O2 therapy, press the button O2 therapy and confirm by pressing the rotary knob. Press the ventilation settings to adjust the flow rate and the FiO2. Select the FiO2 required and confirm with the rotary knob. Select constant flow and choose your desired flow rate in liters per minute and confirm with the rotary knob. Fit the chosen accessory to the patient and make sure the patient is comfortable. Press the start standby key and confirm with the rotary knob. During O2 therapy, only the constant flow rate in liters per minute and FiO2 concentration are monitored and shown in numbers as well as to our trend table. Please note this screen is not configurable. Alarm limits for O2 monitoring are set automatically. The only other available alarm is a breathing hose kinked alarm, which is preset to 30 centimeters of water. There are no active alarm limits for tidal volume, minute volume, frequency, maximum airway pressure, or apnea time. For patient safety, use external SpO2 monitoring. To change settings, select the relevant therapy control, constant flow, or FiO2, and use the rotary knob to adjust and confirm selection. To switch off, press the Start Standby key, select Standby, and confirm with the rotary knob. Select Alarm Reset and confirm with the rotary knob that you have put the device in standby. Today we have learned High flow oxygen therapy is typically used in spontaneously breathing patients who require oxygen at higher flow rates. Specific high flow interfaces are required for this. 
Delivering O2 therapy via one single device enables nurses to spend their time with the patient. Moreover, use of the same circuit without an obligation to buy an additional device would also require service and maintenance, leading to further cost savings. For the patient, there is less anxiety as they remain on the same ventilator for the duration of their treatment. Oxygen therapy, using high flows through the ventilator, is quieter and the transition to NIV is seamless.